So here's a question I'm asking this other YouTuber in a live chat. It says, do you think consistency helps your YouTube channel grow or do you think it's all about the quality and content you produce? I really think it's about the quality and content. Being so I'll say this guys, it really comes down to being very consistent and putting out high quality stuff. So that's my uh, goal for this year is to put out really good content that is maybe higher quality than normal. It might take me a week to make the vlog or two weeks, but I really want to put out stuff that is more of a story because I can produce good quality stuff, you guys. You guys definitely know I can put out some good quality content, but it's all about the story. Um, if you like someone and you want to see little chunks of their life and you know that every day at 8 o'clock in the morning is going to be there, I think that is a thing. Um, but I think also creating content that is good and engaging will do that. You know what I mean? Like, will make your your channel keep growing, you know what I mean? Like you put a video that is two years old and it's still getting views and still finding new people and getting new subscribers. So it just depends. One one really caters for, for, for people to find you where the other one caters more for your established, uh, you know, fan base. But that's pretty much uh, today's video, guys. It's just really a video talking about should you be very consistent on your YouTube channel or should you be very um, consistent on putting in the work to put in the highest quality to grow your channel or do you guys really think it all comes about just uploading whatever you want? Because I think if you put out content that people are expecting you to uh, see, let's say you're doing high quality reviews, people expect you just for that review. But if you're putting out high quality content with maybe some uh, cool information, maybe somebody will actually stop by and watch you because they love what you're doing and what you're producing. Because that's that's what inspiration is. You take something that something else, someone else did, and and you make it your own and you shape it and you mold it slightly different to give it your own flavor. And I think he takes, I think he's bothered by the fact that a lot of people, you know, want to copy his thing. And and I think that's a good thing. I, that kind of validates him as a person, as a, it's a, you know, as a creative uh, person. And so I think that's the reason why we follow him, because we want to be a little bit of what he's got, you know, our, our own flavor of that. So I think more technically, from my standpoint, I think he has really good editing. And I think he, I mean, comparatively, compared to most vlogs that are just cut, 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 like he yeah. really goes to a lot of trouble. And I think his audio, like his 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 music in the background, yeah, always seems to just fit. It Although just the la well. the latest songs, I'm not really digging yeah. them that much. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> not, not only that, he's creating like the Casey like uh, signature sound. You know what I mean? Like he yeah. he's chosen all this music, curated all his music. For the longest time, and they're kind of this stuff that is not popular. He's not using stuff sort of that's like sample out. based, sort yeah. of R and B slash ambient, R like yeah. weird mix of yeah. He also uses dubstep, baby. Yeah, it's like this yeah. new fusion and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, it's become like a signature thing. Like I could go and grab something like that, but it's gonna be like, well, it sounds like Casey. <laughs> sounds like a Casey thing. Which, by the way, I get that quite a bit. So I'm, yeah, I, I was going to say you kind of did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so now, you know, it's like I'm trying to shape it to different things. You know, I like different kinds of music and stuff, and I'm trying to put them Look, in there. It's like when you start learning an instrument, you can't mm -hmm. start playing all original songs. You have to play all the cover songs first. So yeah. it's like this is the same thing. Jay, who's starting this new vlog format and he was inspired by this one guy it's going to look very similar to the thing until he figures out his own style yeah. and he builds his own way of doing it and it takes some time you know so and, I and think... that just that just kind of tells you how green i am and how green i feel in the art of uh, telling yeah. a story i don't drive in an electric car it's green no, I, mean, <laughs> like, I don't by any means I think that I'm particularly talented in the storytelling department. You know what I mean? Like, uh, but yeah, that's what's happening. So I understand you, uh, Trevor, you've been doing this for quite a bit, for a long time, right? 
Yep, pretty much been doing YouTube since 2009. Mm -hmm. 2009. Wow, that's that's when I started Jag. You've been doing yeah. it quite a bit. Quite yeah. a few years yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. Um, and How of course, you... go ahead. Uh, so you 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 do this kind of as a hobby, or like, are you have you found a way to kind of monetize some stuff? I mean, and... I no, not really. <laughs> I was just doing YouTube, baby. It's no, it's no craziness. Yeah. <laughs> have you done? Um, um, have you done uh, like collaborations and stuff? Collaborations, not really, because you have to have an audience before you can collaborate with bigger YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well. To be. Yeah, yeah, like no one's going to take you in. You know, I mean, why would somebody yeah. want to collaborate if you don't have a lot of views? Or yeah, it's got to be uh, like an exchange of goods, right? <laughs> yeah. Just like when you watched in that Casey Neistat video doing that skit video. Oh, okay. He didn't yeah, look yeah. like he was into it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be on earlier. When you guys yeah, right? Was it like, wasn't just me. Oh, <laughs> <so> <laughs> yeah. But he see, so he's leveraging. See, that's what he's doing. I'm yeah. not an actor. He that's what he's doing. See, he's very confident now in his storytelling that he's got a good product that he it's compelling that it's gonna keep growing. It's gonna grow, you know what I mean? Like there's a thing that it's called organic growth. And I believe So is she using him to get a lot of attention or no? No, no, it's the other way around. That girl has like eight million subscribers. He was he was using her to leverage to 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 expose it like you know what I mean? You make it sound so ugly. <laughs> I mean, it's it's absolutely true. Except you know, it's yeah, like it's they were like collaborating. Like <laughs> no, no, but he here's the thing. He was using her. It wasn't the other way around. He's getting more out of that. Yeah. Uh, some naked chick, you know, bouncing around. Not naked, but you know, slow motion. What's the other one? I saw the other one where it was like they were shooting some chick with with gummy bears, and they were like using a phantom, like super slow motion. I mean, it's like. 2,000 frames or something it's like <laughs> you could see the skin just like wow like crazy oh, and it, it's like a minute long the video yeah and it's got millions and millions of views because it's just like mesmerized you're like wow it was like almost, almost. yeah <laughs> almost <laughs> yeah right what's your, what's your goal Trevor how many subscribers how many subscribers do I want honestly I think it all comes down to views if you're not getting views you're not getting anything, man. That's what it comes oh, down to. Okay. I mean, wouldn't you rather have 100,000 views than 100,000 subscribers who never comment or watch your stuff? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. That's just how I look at YouTube. You better have the views and not subscribe. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the ratio. Yeah, your ratio of subscribers. Because mm -hmm. subscribers suck. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, subscribers doesn't mean much. Um, it really comes down to the views that you're getting, really, because you want your people to actually watch your stuff. So, with that being said, guys, I might put the full video of us uh, having the like little podcast, little live chat, if you guys want to see it. Um, apparently, when I was doing the uh, screen capture to record it, I didn't have my mic recording, so it just picked up basically their audio. So I had to do a little voiceover of what I was talking about. So, um, anyways, like I said. That is my little video for today. I decided it would be interesting to show you guys me talking with other uh, YouTubers. And this dude makes some really good content. I make good content. Um, but with that being said, I'm Trevor and I'm out of here. Thanks for watching as always. Bye-bye.